Natilis announces purchase agreement with Ameriflight for 20 cargo aircraft, bringing total orders to $6.8 billion for 460 plus aircraft. Ameriflight places order for 20 Natilis autonomous feeder cargo aircraft valued at $134 million in a strategic move to be the first regional U.S. carrier to develop a new roadmap for the future of air freight operations. Total commitments for Natilis now $6.8 billion for delivery of 460-plus aircraft. Natilis aims to address pilot shortages using its autonomous technologies. San Diego, January 26, 2023, Natilis, a U.S. corporation designing and producing the world's first autonomous aircraft for efficient and sustainable freight transport, has announced that Ameriflight, an industry leader in freight operations, has become the first regional U.S. carrier to sign an aircraft purchase agreement with Natilis. The Ameriflight agreement for 20 Natilis Kona feeder aircraft valued at $134 million brings total commitments to $6.8 billion for delivery of 460-plus aircraft. Kelakona proposes an Eftel Aerobus concept for 40 passengers. Today, we are on the verge of the flying taxi revolution, with many Eftel, electric vertical takeoff and landing, startups predicting the future. They are working on their own models, offering just two to five seats. However, some companies, such as Lilium, proposed a whopping seven-seat air minibus design. One of such startups is Kelakona which is developing a mass transport-sized Eftel Airbus concept capable of carrying 40 people long distances. The Eftel aircraft is based on a blended wing, or lifting body, airframe concept. The Aerobus concept from the New York City startup is designed to carry 40 passengers plus pilot or 10,000 pounds for 1,536 kilograms cargo payload. The company declares on its website that its new design will be able to make the 330 miles 531 kilometers journey between San Francisco and Los Angeles in just one hour. Fixer announces new autonomous long-range Eftel Fixer 025. The full-stack European drone developer Fixer introduces an autonomous full-electric drone fixer designed for large-scale missions for commercial and industrial applications. The fixer carries up to 10 kilograms, 22 pounds, payload for a distance of up to 300 kilometers, 186 miles, and one battery charge. The operations are fully autonomous assured by an in-house developed next-generation autopilot and X-ground control systems making it an efficient and reliable choice for Blow's missions. Long-anticipated increased flight distance and payload capacity have been unlocked and supplemented with versatility. The UAV allows to use broad array of sophisticated professional payload modules by easily swapping them and using the same aircraft for surveying, aerial imaging, remote sensing, surveillance, real-time monitoring, and delivery. Future Flight Embraer Pulse Concept It's a plane. It's a car. It's both. Embraer's Pulse concept somehow reminds me of the dropship in the 1986 movie Aliens. The dropship lands vertically, a vehicle loaded with marines and weapons drives out of it, and the ship then does a vertical takeoff. But the Pulse is no military design, it's an elegant, joined wing twin tilt rotor that carries a roomy pod with plush seating for five or so passengers. Embraer's engineering and design team came up with the concept to demonstrate how electric vertical takeoff and landing flying may well evolve in the next 50 years. Both the aircraft and its ground vehicle operate autonomously. No crew are necessary, except maybe a ticket agent to usher passengers into the glass pod. 
The pod offers near 360 degree visibility thanks to its use of transparent aluminum alloys and has interactive panels that allow text and other smartphone like connectivity and post flight information. Node Air and JetX. U.S. startups are teaming up to develop a new type of aircraft. Node Air and JetX are teaming up to develop a new type of aircraft that combines the best of their respective technologies. This collaboration will connect Node Air's modular transportation system with JetX's vector thrust propulsion. The concept of modular aircraft is relatively new and has yet to be fully explored in the industry. A modular aircraft can be easily reconfigured or modified depending on the specific needs of the flight. This could include adjusting the seating arrangement, cargo capacity, or even the shape of the fuselage. The goal of a modular aircraft is to be as versatile and adaptable as possible while also reducing the costs associated with maintaining multiple specialized aircraft. Node Air is known for its expertise in modular transportation systems, which have already been applied to ground vehicles and boats. By incorporating this technology into the new aircraft, Node Air aims to bring greater flexibility and efficiency to the aviation industry. Auto giant Stellantis gets in on Eftel aircraft boom in partnership with Archer Aviation. Archer Aviation's Midnight is a frontrunner in the race to become the first Eftel aircraft to take to the skies. A new partnership with Stellantis will speed things up even further. When we last cast our eyes to the imaginary skies of the future, the airways looked ambitiously crowded. A whole host of players is poised to clutter up the clouds with various shapes and sizes of Eftel aircraft. While the renderings looked lovely and the concept of swift, emission-free rapid transit from downtown to wherever is very tempting, we're still a few years from reality. The industry just got a big boost with the announcement that automotive titan Stellantis is getting in on the game. The multinational carmaker has a brand portfolio that includes Alfa Romeo, Peugeot, Maserati, and Jeep, amongst many others. Now another company is joining the fold. Stellantis has announced a partnership with Californian startup Archer Aviation. Vertiports and Urban Air Mobility AirSight assists Eftel aircraft manufacturers, airport and vertiport operators as well as planners and architects in the development of vertiports and associated concept of operations. Electric vertical takeoff and landing air vehicle of all are emerging and will certainly revolutionize urban mobility in the coming decades. Vertiports will be a crucial enabler for urban air mobility, but while regulations do exist to some extent for Eftel aircraft, very few regulations or guidelines exist for vertiport design and operations or are still under development, e.g. by EASA. As of today, it is in most cases of high interest for Eftel manufacturers or potential vertiport operators to conduct initial feasibility studies and assessments of the proposed vertiport's infrastructure and operations, and to obtain approval from the responsible civil aviation authorities. New Rolls-Royce Turbo Generator upgrades any Eftel's range and payload. Battery electric VTOL aircraft should do a superb job as short-range cross-down air taxis, but there are a whole lot of other trips they could handle quicker and more conveniently than existing transport options if they could just fly a bit further. Several companies are now planning low-emission hybrid Eftel's, and Rolls-Royce has stepped up to develop a turbo generator specifically designed to act as a compact, efficient range extender for this emerging class of aircraft. Rolls-Royce plans to service a wide range of aircraft, offering its new turbo generator in outputs ranging between 500 to 1,200 kilowatts. The company is developing its own power distribution systems, such that the power from these generators can either be directed to charge up the battery pack or power the electric motors directly, depending on the circumstances. 
Thus, not only can they boost range, they can also potentially boost the peak power of the entire propulsion system, instantly upgrading an aircraft to handle heavier payloads if desired. City Airbus Next Gen Safe, Sustainable, and Integrated Urban Air Mobility City Airbus Next Gen is an all-electric, four-seat vertical takeoff and landing EFTL prototype. Based on a lift and cruise concept, it boasts an 80 km operational range and a cruise speed of 120 km per hour, making it perfectly suited to zero-emission flight operations for a variety of applications in our cities and communities. A lift and cruise concept years in the making. The idea for an efficient air transport service between strategic locations in urban and suburban environments, and what we now call City Airbus Next Gen, first originated from our belief that urban mobility can be moved into the sky in a sustainable way. With decades of experience certifying aircraft, Airbus successfully developed two electric VTOL demonstrators, City Airbus and Vahana. The lessons learned from this double demonstrator approach, as well as the continuous improvements in sound technology across Airbus portfolio of products, have been essential to creating the City Airbus Next Gen prototype, Airbus New Generation of EVTOL. Wingcopter prepares 12,000 cargo drones for world's largest deployment. German company Wingcopter has signed a deal to roll out 12,000 of its long-range, triple-drop delivery drones across Africa over the next five years, in what promises to be the largest commercial drone deployment ever attempted. The Wingcopter 198 is a handsome machine, with a wingspan of 198 centimeters, 78 inches, and the ability to carry up to 6 kilograms, 13.2 pounds, of cargo. It's a clever design featuring eight propellers mounted on arms extending forward and back from the wings. The outer four props are lift only, for VTOL purposes, and lock themselves into an aerodynamic configuration during cruise. The inner front two props are capable of tilting 90 degrees forward to provide horizontal thrust, and the inner rear two props also tilt, but primarily simply to fold their props back and get out of the way of the airflow from the front two.